Factory automation is in the middle of a worldwide boom. With a market volume of over 60 billion Deutschmarks, experts are convinced this will have increased to 100 billion by 1991. Today, companies must quickly adapt to a variety of market demands and short notice delivery dates. To achieve this, the operating procedure in new product development, production planning and manufacture must be better coordinated and the computer-aided systems in each sector must be linked together in an integrated manufacturing system. The key word for this integration is CIM, Computer Integrated Manufacturing. With CIM, a constant data flow is established between development, production planning, and manufacture. Another concept goes one step further than CIM by additionally including business and administration data processing, CAI computer-aided industry. This concept permits control of production planning systems, computer-aided engineering, computer-aided manufacturing, and computer-aided office and administrative systems. The fundamentals of CAI are already being employed at the Siemens Computer Controlled Automation Systems Plant and the Information Systems Division. At another Siemens site in Augsburg, Europe's largest computer manufacturing facility, both CIM and CAI have been successfully applied to the production of a complete range of data equipment from PCs to mainframes. In the research and development laboratory, computer-aided design systems control all phases of development. Highly complex chips with continually more logic functions are developed and produced internally by Siemens. Total command of this basic technology guarantees high performance components for computers made in Germany. Products such as the mainframes, which can perform more than 10 million computations per second, are the result. Here they are being tested in the laboratory. Automatic testing machines carry out function and parameter controls on each component. In special cases, components must prove their durability by testing under extreme conditions, such as the cooling test you see here. The aim is to eliminate as many potential sources of error as early in the production cycle as possible. Production planning and control procedures support manufacturing sequences and ensure that running times are as short as possible. They also determine priorities and monitor production progress. Production orders are transferred to a process control computer, which is able to distribute the required control program to every work center. Printed circuit boards are essential components, which constitute the core of a computer. With the aid of a computer-controlled manufacturing system, a large variety of products can be economically produced at high quality levels. The computer has stored all the various programs. A light signal machine projects the conductive pattern onto light-sensitive glass plates. Before the copies are given the go-ahead, an automatic machine examines the pattern. To eliminate sources of error, the structures are compared with samples which have already been stored. Automatic exposure timers project the pattern onto special plates, which are coated on both sides with sensitized photofilm. Computers regulate the exposure times and control the passage of the workpiece. A completed printed circuit board undergoing a final electronic test. An automatic testing system examines connections, through plating, and insulation. The results are protocoled by the computer. The next production phase is assembling the circuit board with its components. For this task, Siemens has developed its own flexible manufacturing system. The circuit boards are fastened at the starting point on the workpiece carriers. The system's layout 
is a flexible production procedure irrespective of volume. This is a vital condition for producing to order. Computers control the production steps in the online operation. All of the components are automatically assembled. A surface-mounted device cell takes care of the growing number of these components. The workpiece carrier is informed of its new destination from the system center. Barcode labels are printed for the incoming orders on the assembly line in the new Siemens factory for PCs and small business systems. The barcode assists in controlling all phases of production from the initial order to final shipment. A process controlled computer receives an inquiry via the barcode reader and the components are fed into the process in their correct sequence. The master computer coordinates material flow and requirements. In order to keep storage costs as low as possible, it will only allow components to be produced which are immediately required. If a part is missing, the computer simply changes the production schedule accordingly. The storage systems are also computer controlled. The primary products are held in readiness in interim storage. Remote controlled vehicles transport them to the production storage area, which is in the immediate vicinity of the assembly line, so that they are readily available when required. Even in this high-tech factory, it would be impossible to do without people. Around 400 engineers, technicians, and workers are employed in the final assembly in this factory. One of the non-human workers is a sensor-guided industrial robot which assembles PC monitors. It doesn't even need 90 seconds to complete one monitor. The factories of the future require flexible production lines, which can quickly adjust to new products. The pride of the plant is the 120-foot-long automatic production line for keyboards. It used to be necessary to store a large number of pre-manufactured keys for more than 100 different keyboards. But now the fully assembled keyboard is inscribed with the required information. In this way, even small production series can be economically completed. Whether it's Chinese, Latvian, or Arabic lettering, the computer has the design in storage. Altogether, 6,000 different symbols. And a laser beam inscribes each key. The automatic machine requires about 70 seconds for one keyboard. After final assembly, the finished product undergoes extensive testing. In a single year in the Augsburg factory, more than 100,000 terminals, PCs, and small business systems were produced, with a sales volume of well over 1 billion Deutschmarks. Computers which were built by computers in this factory of the future. Seventeen, I was a counselor at that camp with the bad food. They paid me fifty dollars. Then they started to deduct sweatshirt, toothpaste, shoelaces, a canoe. At the end of the summer, I owed them eighty-five dollars. Stephen Wright explores the working world with Tim Matheson on Trying Times. I must have got my wires crossed.
Now, generous factory cash could save you even more on a 4x4 during Isuzu's Drive-Home Home Sale.